With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students, now we are going to see this question. The question says that an aeroplane is flying with a velocity of 800 km per hour relative to the air wind, which comes from west to east direction, uh, with a velocity of 15 meter per second. The velocity of the aeroplane relative to earth flying southwards is, okay. Basically, firstly, we have to define the thing that is uh, north, south, east, west, okay. So, we'll just draw a small thing over here, okay, and write down. This is north, basically, south, east and west okay so we are following the normal criteria over here okay so now what is given that that the aeroplane is flying southwards okay so i'll draw the vector of aeroplane vector okay so aeroplane is flying southwards okay and the wind is in the direction from west to east if you see over here it's in the direction of west to east that means what over here the wind will be somewhat in this direction okay and lastly if you see the resultant of the aeroplane, it will come in which direction? Tail to head, which is in this direction. So basically, this resultant's value is given as 800 km per hour. How did I know that? Basically, in the question only, it's given relative to the wind. Relative to the wind means that after putting all the wind uh, velocities, okay, the aeroplane is moving in this direction. That means what? Over here, this is the tail of the vector, that is the head, okay. And what is given? We have to find the velocity of the aeroplane. Okay. This we have to find out. Now what we'll do since this is a 90 degree angle, we can use the Pythagoras theorem over here. Okay. Velocity of wind is what? It is 15 meter per second. But over here one thing there is, uh, there is a problem that we have to convert either this or this in kilometer per second or kilometer per hour. So let's convert. Uh, Kilometer per hour in meter per second. So basically, kilometer per hour is 800 kilometer per hour. Okay, so what we'll write 800 kilometer per hour is 800 into basically one kilometer is what 1000 meters. Okay, and one hour is 3600 seconds. Okay, this will come out to be what 8 into 5 by 18. Okay, 8 in 800 basically 800 into 5 by 18. Okay, this will be equal to what. 222.22 okay meter per second so now what we'll do now we'll uh, calculate that is the vector which is velocity of aeroplane vector will be equal to what basically this is just the magnitude we'll find velocity of uh, under root of velocity of uh, the resultant velocity basically so resultant square plus velocity of wind and this will become minus not plus Okay, so what we'll have, we'll have under root of 222.22 square minus velocity of which, which is 15 meter per second square. So this will be equal to 221.71 meter per second. So this is the velocity of the plane, okay, aeroplane, okay. So over here, uh, the find the velocity of uh, aeroplane with respect to the earth, this will come out to be 200. 21 okay point seven one meter per second so this is basically our answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today